Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Research Burst and today let's talk about the understanding of the intelligent systems. By intelligent systems, here we mean the machine learning and the deep learning models. So what happens in the machine learning and deep learning, we give some kind of input features to the models and then we get some kind of output. This output can be a particular class and it can be a continuous values. But when it comes to the interpretation that why we are getting this output only, then we need a lot of research. Although in the machine learning methods are available like using the lime package, using the XGBoost feature importances, tracing back the decision trees, these are the methods available but when it comes to the deep learning we need a lot of research. And by interpreting the deep learning model is that like deep learning model is really very complicated and it's a completely black box for us also. So when it comes to the interpretation we have three questions in mind. So what is the contribution of each feature for the particular output then what is the contribution of each neuron in the particular layer for the particular output and then what is the input feature that is activating that neuron for that kind of behavior so these are the three questions that comes to the developers mind when they try to interpret the given deep learning model now thanks to the CATM library that is open sourced by Facebook and by which we can interpret the given deep learning model so CATM library provides us three different kind of functionalities for example it can be the general attribution means contribution of each input feature to the output then it can be the layer attribution means, means contribution of each neuron to the layer and to the output of the model and then third can be the neuron attribution means contribution of each input feature on activating that neuron so these are the three different kind of interpretability functionality that we can gain through the Facebook captain and there are different algorithms to do this for example for the general attribution we can have the integrated gradients algorithm and uh, how this algorithm works is it uses the two different kind of features and these features can be the input level features and the baseline features by baseline features we mean the zero vector tensor so zero vector tensor is something like uh, by which we are comparing the input features and then we are showing up the importance that yes this is the most important feature and this is the least important features so this is we are achieving this with the help of integrated gradients algorithm and then when it comes to the applications uh, for this model so we can say that uh, in the image and object recognition system we can have a particular image we can know that yes this image is of this label for example you can look at the screen that we have the image for the camera then we want to know that what are the features that are responsible to get the output as a camera and then we can use the integrated gradients and we can have the those features also available then it comes when it comes to the identification of diabetic retinopathy doctors needs you know that what are the area of interest where we need to look the other case study might be for example now the banking is uh, banking sector are giving the particular credit decision to the consumer and then it can be negative also it can be positive also when it comes to the negative they also need to give the explainability that why they are not allowing the person to have the loan and to have the credit then also we need the model interpretability because the ultimately the banking sectors are providing the decisions based on the deep learning models only so this these are some of the applications where we need such kind of systems now let's quickly go to the implementation of such kind of system and let's look how we can use this system then let's look at the interpretation for a very basic deep learning model that is designed in the pytorch and after that we would be covering the complex models so for example we are importing the required libraries we need the captam library we need the different classes and different algorithms of captam library like gradient shape integrated gradients layer conductance and many more and after that we are going to define the basic neural network model which is having the two hidden layers uh, like one is the layer with the 10 input features and then another would be the output layer with the two features only and then we are using the ReLU activation function over it and then we are defining the forward function to design the neural network model after that we are calling this model we are not back propagating it with the true examples because we don't have any we are just trying it on the uh, in random input sample just to get the idea that how this uh, algorithm and how this library works 
then we are going to define the input features and that is of we are defining the five simple five features each of having the 10 different uh, values and after that we are defining the baseline features baseline features are the features with which our model is going to compare and assign the values to the features importances then we are going to look at the general attribution general attribution means the attribution at the input feature level and if the attribution is positive then that feature is contributing more towards the prediction and if that attribution is negative then that feature is contributing less and we are also going to get the convergence delta values these are the approximation error and this decides that whether it's large it means there's a more approximation error and if it is a small then then it's it means like it, we have the less approximation error and we can tune the model with the other features also to get the less approximation error that is less convergence values then we are going to run the integrated gradient algorithm by passing the model which we have defined by passing the input features we are going to get the attribution values and the convergence values so now this is the kind of output that we are getting so it simply means that for the given sample and for the 10 features this feature is contributing more in comparison to that feature then we are going to use the another algorithm that is gradient shap this algorithm again uses the same way it uses the baseline features and then it uh, adds the noise gaussian noise to it and then after that it tries to figure out the attribution values and the convergence values so we are having the importances of each features in each input sample and then we can say that okay this is the importance for the given model for all the features we can average it out across the whole data set and then we can finally find out that this is the importance of the feature now when it comes to the importance of the neuron at a particular given layer so we want to know that we want to know that to in the given layer for the given model what is the importance of the given neuron and we are going to achieve this with the help of neuron conductance and after that we want to know the layer conductance that is the importance of the neuron in a given layer we want to know that also so that we going to achieve by the layer conductance by using the same input features the baseline features and the target for which we want to know so this is just a very basic deep learning model and this is how we are learning that to, how we can use the captain library to achieve this later we would be covering the more interesting cases uh, thanks for watching the video and keep subscribe the channel to watch many more such videos